What's up Guardians? Profane here. Thanks for checking out the video. Today we're going to be covering all of the 2021 Solstice of Heroes Triumphs. These are going to be available for you throughout this year's event, which begins this week on its weekly reset, all the way through August 3rd. Completing these Triumphs will reward you with XP, weapons, and a new emblem, and the new exotic ghost shell, the Filigree of Light. And I'll be breaking down each of these new Triumphs for you to start knocking out this week when Solstice of Heroes begins. Now as always, if you enjoy the video, be sure to hit the like button below, along with the subscribe button if you're new to the channel. Hitting the bell will keep you notified when new Destiny content is available to watch. Now the 2021 Solstice of Heroes event features 6 new Triumphs for Guardians to grind away towards. Completing all 6 of the Triumphs will earn you an additional 80 points towards your Triumph score. And while some of these Triumphs will be fairly easy to knock out, others will take some time, and possibly the entirety of the event to complete. To earn credit towards these Triumphs, they must be completed during the event. Now starting off, we've got Maximum Declination. This Triumph requires you to obtain any Legendary Solstice Armor. So you're going to need to visit Eva at the beginning of the event to claim your common Solstice Armor. And from there, you're going to have to complete the requirements for each set of armor to be able to level up. Uh, we'll be putting out a video later in this week to cover all of the classes for that. But in order to get this trap, you're going to have to reach the legendary Solstice Armor. Now, Flash of Daylight Triumph requires you to earn Solstice Armor by completing a challenge. This most likely is referring to event challenges associated to the EAZ activity and since it specifically states you only have to earn one piece this should be an easy triumph for you to knock out. The partially resplendent triumph will reward the brightest stars emblem and this one requires you to acquire glow for one full armor set. The Cosmically Resplendent Triumph is one that will have Guardians making huge sacrifices over the next month. Now I'm not talking Vormir Soulstone level sacrifices, but sacrificing reality for a few weeks for sure, because it will require you to unlock Glow for all Solstice Armor sets for all classes. This is your Hunter, Warlock, and Titan. So this means that you have to fully level up each of the Solstice Armor for all three of your classes. This one will be quite the feat to accomplish, but by doing so you will earn the Filigree of Light Exotic Ghost Shell, which is an absolutely beautiful piece of work, but is it really worth it for this extensive of a grind? Let me know what you think below. The Refractory Warrior Triumph should be an easier triumph to complete, as it requires you to defeat bosses on Prism Day. At this time, we don't know how many bosses this will be, but to fulfill the entirety of the event, you could probably expect between 50 and 100 bosses in the EAZ encounter. Now, Bungie claims that there is no limit to the number of bosses you can defeat during these encounters. The only limit is time. Prism Days will be on daily rotation along with the other empowerments of Void, Solar, and Arc. On Prism Day, you are free to use whichever subclass you choose as all empowerments are all combined on Prism Days. Now, the final triumph is another easy one to complete. Solstice Cat Snacks will finally have Guardians officially visiting the cat which many had previously glitched into in past Solstice events. Now this hidden cat is located beneath the ground level of the EAZ and can be accessed by dropping down at your initial spawn point. Now this does not specify on whether you will need to interact with the cat or offer it a treat, but if you do have to offer this cat a treat and you do not have any, they can be acquired in the Dreaming City. Completing this triumph will reward Guardians with an updated version of the Retold Tail Shotgun. Most likely this will be a set roll and will probably drop at soft cap top out which will be 1310. And there you have it Guardians, this year's Solstice of Heroes Triumphs. What do you think of the filigree of light ghost shell being the big reward out of this? What are you looking forward to most out of this year's event? Let me know in the comments below. 
Hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Hope it helped. If so, be sure to hit that like button below. It's greatly appreciated, as is hitting the subscribe button if you're new. We're still recruiting to our Discord and clan, so be sure to check out that in the description below. Until next time, though, this has been Profane, wishing you guys some happy hunting. Thank <laughs> you.